Master Trainer Margaret here, and this week I have you a short and sweet T-tap broom walking workout. Basically, this is a lots of cardio in a little bit of time, and all you need is a broom to do this workout. If you're enjoying these tips and workouts, I do offer beginner, intermediate, and advanced level T-tap recorded classes via the link in my profile. So be sure to check that out if you're enjoying this. But for now, let's get to the workout. Okay, before we get into the actual workout, I'm gonna give you a couple quick form tips. If you're already familiar with the broom and walking workouts, you can skip ahead, but you're gonna watch this if you're not familiar. So when, whenever we're doing the T-tap walking workouts, you're basically walking in place. And when you're walking in place, you're gonna be very aware of what your feet are doing. You wanna be straight from toe to heel. You wanna have the weight in your heels, and you can even think to lift that big toe as you walk. And lifting the big toe automatically shifts your knees out. So watch what happens if I do, if I do my big toe down. Look at that. You see how my knees start to drift in? So really think weight in heels off of the big toe. In fact, you can lift the big toe if you can, and that will help automatically track your knees out towards the little toe. And notice as well, I have full extension on my knees there. I'm not just going like this. It's full extension means full contraction of your glutes and of your core when you're walking in place like this for the T-tap broom workout. You're gonna think about keeping your torso tall. Your chin will be slightly tucked. You wanna think to keep that chin slightly tucked to keep that nice alignment there with your upper spine. You're gonna think about, and instead of, just try this cue. A lot of people have trouble thinking about keeping that flat back. So sometimes I've started saying, instead of saying tailbone under, I want you to think pubic bone, so the bone right here, Pubic bone up. Oh my, now you're actually feeling it more in your abs and you're feeling it less in your glutes squeezing together. You're actually feeling it in the low abs. So anytime you feel like you're going into that anterior tilt, think pubic bone up. Shoulders come back, chin slightly tucked, and that will get you the best alignment for your walking. Okay, so you might be wondering, what on earth does this broom have to do with anything? Well, the cool thing about the broom is that it helps get you into better muscle activation and better alignment. You can take your hands and you can put this broom at your shoulders and I want you to think elbow forward, hands back. If you're familiar with T-Tap, you've heard that a million times. Elbow forward, hand back. And now I want you to think, push the elbows and push the hands into your shoulders with that broom. So the broom is coming across your back. Now I want you to notice how you should feel like your back gets flatter, your core tightens there as you press. You're thinking elbows forward as you press. Press the broom right there with those fingers. You should already feel how it's keeping you in better alignment. We're gonna be doing all kinds of movements where you're gonna have your hands up and then you're gonna have it at the front and up and down. But the most important thing is to keep it in alignment, keep that activation, the pushing and pulling. And one other thing that you can try here whenever we have the broom in the front, and I'll cue this for you, but you really can think about pulling apart on the broom. So notice how my torso got much taller there, just pulling apart on the broom. So ready? Pull apart like you're trying to pull the broom in half, like you're gonna rip it in half. That should activate more muscles in your back. Let's do that from the side. Ready? It's pull the broom, pull the broom. And it really makes a big difference in your muscle activation for this workout. Spinal curls just to warm up your spine in preparation for the workout. It's always important to warm up your spine, especially when you're doing stepping workouts. So you're gonna go ahead have your hands, top of your knees, I'll do this at a slight angle so you can see, but you're gonna be push, tuck, curl, 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 looking down, inhale, and then think, core stays stable as you scoop it back out, knees go out. Push, tuck, curl, looking down, inhale, feel that nice stretch in your back, and then think, pull the shoulders back for a better stretch, inhale, and then exhale, arch. Really deep inhale as you curl, then reach those hands straight out and jazz them. Two, three. Then you're gonna reach those thumbs, pull into the forehead, curl deeper, and then hunch as you inhale. And then exhale, pull those thumbs and stretch the fingers straight. Two, three, Hand come above the knees. Push and arch it out. Now, gently come down. If you need to go to your knees, that's fine. Otherwise, go to your calves. Shake out your head. Two, Three, nice little neck compression there. And then shake it, yes. Two, three. Now, hunch those elbows forward. Push, tuck, curl, 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 looking down at the ground. Knees stay out, inhale. And now, exhale, jazz your hands. Now do a little mini squat as you reach out. Really stretch those hamstrings. Bring it back in and then push, tuck, curl. Dragging that 
pinky along the side of your leg until you get to the hip ball joint. Ribs come up, then your head comes up. Hunch it up, reach it down. Okay, let's get started. Get your broom, get all set up. Just follow along, you can do it. Let's do first with thumbs away. So thumbs are stretching to the side wall on this broom, shoulders back, and then I want you to pull apart on the broom. Feel that muscle activation, ready? Let's step, so it's just step. Really make sure that your toes are forward. You're always thinking to not have your weight on the big toe, because if you do weight to big toe, remember, you'll go in like this. We want to keep it knee, little toe. Now do a quick little scan of your body and notice how your alignment is. Are your toes forward? Is your low back excessively arched out? Bring it in. Remember, think pubic bone up so that you're stacked all the way. Then think about your chin. Slightly pull that chin and to really get that nice alignment from the top of our spine to the bottom. Now think shoulders pull back. Think pull apart on that broom. Now remember, when you're walking here in place, I don't want you to be just stepping like this. I want you to really think, follow through, follow through. Really straighten that leg. Because when you straighten the leg, you get more glute activation, which is also good for your pelvic floor and your abs. So you're really thinking, keeping that activation all the time. Now, in a second, we're gonna go side to side while we're stepping here. So remember, keep that good activation. When we go side to side, make sure that you keep your toe to heel straight. So ready, here we go. Keep pulling apart and through. Side, side. Make sure that you lead with the knee. It's not this you're thinking, lead with the knee every time you step. Really think, keep that activation all the way up your body. So no leaning forward and no leaning back. Keep it straight, five. Keep those toes forward all the time, six. Very good, seven, and last time, eight. Very good, now come to the center. So it's step. Oh, you should start feeling a little bit of burning here now. Who would think that stepping in place could really make so much muscle activation, but remember to follow through and keep that pubic bone up so that you activate the tummy as you step each time. Keep the chin in, the elbows in, pull apart on the broom and keep that alignment Really good. Now in a second, we're gonna do some taps. So it's one, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. This is very lymphatic, because it helps circulate your lymphatic system. Tap, tap, and tap. Last time, tap, and very good. Now just keep stepping. Remember to keep your shoulders back, elbows in, chin in. Now, instead of doing our hands with our thumbs away, let's do it overhand. Overhand with that broom. Now I want you to feel. Pull apart on the broom, but keep that lower tummy activated. Chin slowly tucked in. Oh, you should feel that in your back. Keep all the stepping technique all the time. Keep it really activated. Keep that low back flat. Don't do this. And don't do this. <laughs> Think really tall, like someone's pulling the crown of your head to the ceiling. We've only been three and a half minutes, but you should already be feeling this. <laughs> Definitely in your body. So now we're gonna reach our arms straight out with the broom. If you reach those arms out, you have to think to keep that lower belly activated even more. Pull apart on the broom. Pull apart on the broom of the straight out from you. Very good. Now come over, over, over your head and reach. Two, three, four. Now think shoulders tall. Now pull, 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 pull back behind your shoulders. You're gonna have it up there at your Bend the middle of your back of your shoulders, elbows come forward, helps you keep that curl, helps you keep that low back flat and really activate it all the time. You can adjust your hand position, but you're gonna be in a YW. So think press, feel how when you press your elbows forward while you're keeping that alignment, ooh, you get more of a curl in the lower back. So keep pressing and keep on stepping and keep on smiling too. Very good. So now we're gonna go side to side while we're pressing the broom. So keep that activation, here we go. It's side, side. It's just like a side step, but you're not losing that core. You're not going like this. When you're going side to side, keep it stacked. Think, keep the ribs stacked on top of the pelvis. You're not flaring them out. You're keeping it activated all the time. So keep stepping, good. And keep pressing those elbows forward. Hands are back all the time. 
go to the side, keep side to side. You should start feeling your heart rate starting to come up, but we're really gonna get it going in just a second. So keep stepping, stepping, stepping. Remember, lead with the knee, lead with the knee, lead with the knee. Last one, last time, now come to center and step. Woo, very good. Now bring those hands up above the shoulders. Now we're gonna do lat pulls with the broom. So think right here, pull apart on the broom. And if you're starting to feel it too much in your traps, think tuck your chin slightly so that you get more lat activation down or back. So we're gonna go up, two, three. I'm gonna to pull to a W. Up, two, three, and then reach all the way down. So it's up, two, three. Pull to a W, tuck that chin very slightly as you pull it in. So it's up for two, down for two, up for two, extend. Up for two, down for two, up for two, extend. Two more, up for two, down for two, up for two, extend. Up for two, pull elbows forward, hand back in that full extension. Very good. Pull apart on the broom, keep those torsos tall as you step. Now bring it all the way back up and stretch. We're gonna do that exact same sequence again. Ready, here we go. So it'll be up two, three, pull two, three, up two, three, extend. Now again, so it's up two, three, pull two, three, up two, three, slower works more muscle, really focus. We'll do one more slow. Up two, three, elbow forward comes back. Keep that low back activated, don't let it arch out or go into a glitch, <laughs> glute clenching right there. Make sure that it stays at a good angle. So pull two, three, up two, three, extend two, three, and now let's do it a little quicker. So it's up for two, extend, up for two and out, up for two, elbow forward, hang back, up for two and out. Keep that pelvis in a nice neutral spot so that you activate your core. Up for two, pull, up for two, extend. Last time, pull, last time, and extend, and let that broom come down. You deserve a nice little break here. Hunch it up, and exhale. Very good. Now, pull the broom, thumbs away, shoulders back, chin slightly tucked. We're gonna go side to side. So it's side, two, three. Really remember to lead with the knee. Very good. Keep that torso toe all the time, chin slightly tucked. You're gonna hear this in your sleep, but it really helps you get more cardio out of this move, because it's really just stepping in place, but it's a lot more complicated than that. So this is next to last one, and last one here, and come to the center and step. Very good. Okay, now we're going to do our hands gripping the room once again, and now I want you to bring it straight out, and I want you to practice these lat pulls. So these are lat pulls from a lateral direction, so I want you to think to keep that low back stable, and I want you to reach out, pulling apart on the broom, and then pull back. So it's like a little pulling back of the shoulder. So it's out, two, three, you might hunch a little bit, and then pull, two, three, tall. Out, two, three, really pull shoulders back as you reach. Out, two, three, and pull, two, three. Last time, two, three, you're just reaching from that shoulder girdle, pure shoulder girdle. Good. Now bring those arms up all the way, reach it up really tall, just reach it really tall. Now, we're gonna bring those arms down, elbow forward, hand back into that wide W, keep pushing it there to keep that shoulder joint, it's like really good for your shoulders, to really open up those pectoral muscles. So, now we're gonna do taps again with our foot. So ready, it's one, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. One, two, three. Really just tap with your toes. This is very lymphatic. Tapping like this really helps get that lymph out and circulating all the time. Tap and tap. Last time, tap. Very good. Now just go back to stepping. Step, two, three, four. Very good. Keep those shoulders back. Keep the ribs up. Don't lose that tuck of the back. I know right here is when we start to get tired, but you should feel those glutes with every step if you're following through with your knees as much as you can. Pushing those knees out towards the little toe as you straighten, as you walk in place. I know it's a lot of things to remember. <laughs> okay, let's do a little bit more cardio just to finish up. Bring your arms up. We're going to go, this time we're gonna go all the way. So pull apart on the broom, chin tucked in, all that alignment going well. Now ready, here we go. So we're gonna go all the way down. 
Keep that rib set all the way up. Pull apart on the broom the entire time. Pull all the way down. Ooh, you should really feel that in your shoulders. Then pull all the way back up. Very good, let's do it faster. Down for two, up for two. Keep those feet walking while you do this. I know it's multitasking. Next to last one. That's the last one. And bring it all the way down. Now, hunch up, just a little curl. You can keep walking, never stop walking. Don't stop walking yet. I mean, if you really need to stop, that's fine. But just we're hunching over here. Get the back a little bit of rest. Come straight back up. Very good. Okay, now bring your hands up. We're gonna do one last cardio. Bring those hands out. We're gonna do our little up and down. So ready? It's up, two, three, and out, two, three. Up, two, three. Pull elbows forward, hand right back. Up, two, three, and out, two, three. I'll give you a side view on this one and pull those elbows forward, hand back. You're pressing that room into those shoulders. And you're really letting this movement come from the shoulders to give you better range of motion. So that's faster. Up for two, out. Up for two and down. Up for two and out. Up for two on down. Very good. Up for two and out. Up for two on down. Up for two and out. Last time, hand down. Hunch it up, look down. Keep that stepping. I know it's intense. I'm really sweating now. Come back up straight. Now we're gonna have our room come down. Thumbs away, pull shoulders back, last set of side to side. It's side, two, three, pull apart on that room. Now help you keep that torso tall, muscles activated all the time. Side, really think to keep those knees tracking out. Remember, it's not knee in, you're thinking knee little toe, knee little toe. Even as you step out to this side, knee little toe, knee little toe, and now come to the center, just step. You can slow it down a little bit. Start getting a lot more slower. You're gonna have to do a little bit of a cool down here with some taps. Help you get even more lymphatic action out of this. So, ready? It's one, two, three, and tap. One, two, three, and tap. One, two, three. And just point that toe. Anytime you flex the calf muscle, it helps pump your lymphatic system. So every time you're doing this, they squeeze. And squeeze as you tap. Last time, here we go. Very good, and just step. Just really slowing it down, slowing your heart rate down a little bit. Very good. Now you can bring your broom down, just do a big hunch. As you step and release, big hunch, so you can get curl. Hunch, release. You can even, you know, put your broom down as you do this hunch, and release, hunch up and stop stepping. Now we'll do one more hunch now that we've stopped. And release, hunch it up, and release. Very good, that is your broom workout. I hope that you've enjoyed this. Love to hear your experience about this. You can comment below, let me know how you liked it. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time.